Hey guys, it's literally been a minute since the end of last week's vlog because it's still Monday working on uh, getting the whole tax notification thing figured out. That's going to be my first goal, even though I have so many things I want to get done today. I want to work on a short story cover and start editing the vlogs because you guys are seeing this probably about two weeks, um, like staggered. <laughs> I still have to clean up. I still have to figure out a bunch of other adulting stuff with our vacation. And I also wanted to like start working on Kuro Kenshin pages because we got to get things rolling. And basically we've hit a bump. So we're going to take care of the bump first. Hopefully the office is nice and they help me walk through this. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But great start. It feels like a Monday adulting I think done for today I hope so the tax stuff was not as scary as the file that I received made it out to be because it was like you got penalties and delinquency blah 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 and I'm like I didn't start making money until like last month so called them went through it paid my sales tax this is all sales tax so it's not even like the tax taxes at the end of the year. This is just sales tax for being a seller and you do have to file it monthly. So if anybody else has a vendor's license that is like that, keep an eye open, check that out for sure because it's annoying. Now I have that on a monthly to do and I've started cleaning up. I got the table set up again. I kept one of my cubbies out to maybe make usable space. Also Bruno needed a house or a little something place to be permanently. I still have some boxes to go through. We have an Atreyu tucking himself in under the chair as always. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up and I'll see where I'm at. It is 3.30. Once, once I'm all cleaned up, because I still also have to clean up everything in the other room that I've not gone through and I think I can just tidy up most of it and then go through papers later so that might be part two and then eventually we'll come back to the desk and do some studio work because this is a studio vlog ta-ta business stuff super fun not fun yeah da 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 everything's cleaned up put away I've got my calendar planner stuff out here these are actually, I still need to go through because it's got a bunch of random like drawings and writings that aren't organized. So we're going to organize that pile later. But I even went through all my like papers in my file away and filed them away. So that's all good. I separated everything out. I just have to like figure out a stock situation. So I organized it though. And um... I have so much garbage. I have all that, which is just boxes and papers and junk to sort. A lot of cardboard to take to recycling as well as more. More cardboard, more cardboard, more things to sort. But I, I did the big part. It's fine. So now, where's my puppy? I try you. Would you like to take a walk? Yeah? You want to go? You want to take a walk? Yeah. Okay, let's go take a walk, huh? Yeah. And then, I'm going to walk home. Across the bridge. I don't care if your feet wet. Do you lie in wait for own twin skulls fluttering on the bridge? No. And then throw him into the river. What is this, my lovey? No, Mr. Sweden. He's dead.
Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm in the car at work. Super excited. It's a nice rainy day. I just delivered a couple of packages to the post office, one to UPS and another because um, they were like a neighborhood away. So I just delivered those for the hardcovers, which you guys just saw. All of those have been claimed. I only ordered 15 because I was going off just of how many of book two that I sold. Because usually I end up doing two orders anyway and I didn't want to start with like a lot. Well, I think nine were pre-ordered so they're paid for. And then the other ones like I know people who get the hardcover and are probably like as soon as I tell them they'll pay for it and take it. Uh, so they're all claimed, which means, and I did set one aside for my next event because there is a person there from last year who asked like, when's the next book coming out? So I'm like, Hey lady, I remember you. I remember when people, uh, especially when they reach out to me personally to ask about a book. So I have one set aside for her just in case, but otherwise I won't have any hardcovers to sell, which they're not like hardcovers are not a huge seller at the events so far. So I might do a small order of like five or so just to um, compensate because I think there are probably a few more hidden orders that are going to pop up with those. Um, and I have to do that sooner rather than later because it takes about three weeks sometimes. Like today, yesterday, I got them yesterday, which was the 18th and I ordered them on the second. So about 16 days. So like two, just over two weeks. So if I order them now, they'll be here in time for the event, just in case. And I like to have at least a small stock of them because I do have hardcovers of book one and book two. I would like full sets of those, you know, to be able to send out. So I'll have to order those at some point. I have two more orders to pack up tonight. One of them also had stickers, so I needed to print out the clear stickers, which I didn't do last night because I was getting all the other orders fulfilled. So I'm going to do the sticker order tonight with that book so I can send that out tomorrow morning. I have another one to deliver since they're local, um, which for me makes more sense than paying like almost five bucks just to send it like five minutes away because media mail doesn't really matter if it's in the neighborhood or if it's across like the nation apparently it's pretty much four to five bucks for that so I'm like the money that I'm spending in gas is probably less plus I can like stop at a store and do groceries so I'll just deliver that one tomorrow and that will have every order to date fulfilled which is gonna be really nice because I do need to I definitely feel the itch to like just draw and just write and do and create things and not just do the business side of it now that I'm caught up or will be caught up as of tomorrow. Still got to edit the vlog. I've started it. I've trimmed down a good bit, but I need to finish editing it. So I think they'll end up going up Mondays, which if you're seeing this, you've probably figured out the schedule at this point. So uh, anywho, I'm going to head into work before I'm late because I have two more to deliver to my coworkers. They're in my trunk and of course it's raining and I have paper bags. So I'm just going to like huddle and <laughs> carry them in. Oh, why am I still wearing my seatbelt? Eh, safety first guys. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let me go do that and then I will probably see you guys tonight while I'm working on stuff. Bye. Yeah, show that stick who's boss. Oh, not at me. <laughs> okay. No, 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 you can just lay down with it. <laughs> Somebody got zoomies. You whack me with your tail. Nope. Yeah, you gotta get it because that one's got some branch on it. There we go. Is this interesting anymore? 
Oh. Okay. I don't got any. I don't got any more. Did you hit me? What about that one? What about this one? What about this one? It's got leaves. You getting tired? Did you zoom zoom out? You zoom zoomed out? Oh. oh. And we'll go down. All right. I'm gonna just pick up this other stick, and put it in the stick pile. Yeah, I think he zoomed zoomed out. You zoomed zoomed out. Yeah. Yeah. Who you good boy? Happy Friday. So I didn't come up and work on anything last night. This has been an exhausting week I think just because the weather has been super dreary and rainy and cold plus burning out from the past two weeks of like sticker rush essentially so Friday it is now two o'clock I just spent about a half hour or so doing some admin basically I had to email KDP with um errors from the last print order that I got so like some of the covers were distorted and like torn or bulging so thankfully they have always given me good service and I am getting a few of those replaced which is nice so I'll have sellable copies as well and then I had another email regarding like the acrylic prints that I ordered they're like hey if you send us pictures we'll give you like a five to ten dollar refund which I might just put toward my next order but refund is fine too so basically I want to go over my to my mom's around four so I'm gonna give myself two hours to get this vlog edited it's not what I wanted to be doing today but I am streaming later while Stephanie is out of town uh, she is out of town so I am doing the stream tonight at eight so I can at least go over to my mom's for a few hours and actually have fun when I come back and work on stuff assuming I get this video done so I'm going to work on video edits and let them know that my card information is different. Yeah. Okay. Just look, look a little bit. Of oh my lord, I forgot how long video editing can take. And I'm not doing anything like more complicated than cutting up clips, maybe adjusting the speed on them and throwing in some titles and some background music here and there but it is four it is 358 so it took me that whole two hours to edit it and when I started I was maybe about eight minutes through the final clip for week one part one is 23 minutes 23 ish minutes Basically, I cut everything up first and then I did go back and rewatch it because there were some things that I didn't know if I was overlaying or doing voiceover for. That's why there's like a whole chunk of just like a music montage in there. But maybe it's too long. Who knows? We're learning. We're figuring out what we like to do here. But it took me a long time. Granted, that probably was originally an hour, hour and a half's worth of footage. So yeah, it takes a minute, but it is four o'clock. It is exporting, hopefully, without issue. Because I don't like to watch it again after it exports. I just kind of let it happen. So you guys will let me know. I have something else to show you guys before I leave. So we went to grab some groceries from Costco today and I got me some studio slip, I mean like house slippers. They're super soft and like flexible and they, I didn't feel like digging through to find the bluish one. So I'm like, eh, I'll get pink. I ain't, I ain't scared of no pink, but they're very, very soft and super fuzzy and squishy. So now at least my toes will be warm up in the studio. But I still have blankets. And this is exporting. Exporting. Da, 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 da. Cool, cool, cool. My hair clip, my hair clip keeps falling over. Making me look weird. Durr. Weird dur dur. But my bangs are all fluffy from the shower. So they wanna just in my face. 
Anywho, let's go get a tray you ready. Because I think the rain has stopped, so I'm going to leave now. Let that do its thing. I'll come back and upload it later. Yeah, let's get a dog. A tray you. You want to go to Grandma's? We have to get in the car. You want to go? Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Oh, it's a big stretch. Yeah. We're going to go to Grandma's house? Yep. Good boy. What's a good boy do? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get in the car. Let's go in the car. I know. We don't care for the car, but we're going to go. Let's go. Alright, so I'm back from mom and dad's. Currently we're in our first sprint of the night for Holotex over the queue. And I'm printing out Q's order actually for her stickers. So why don't I just flip the camera around? Ooh, the printer, uh, it took a couple tries for it to take the paper, but it did come through and everything looks nice. So of course the next test is always the cutting machine, but this has been the bigger struggle. Yeah, so we got an Eris swoop. I'm gonna let it dry a second here because this one needs to dry. We got an Eris sheet and a Ferdinand sheet, and then I have to get her other stickers um, arranged to print out as well. So I'm gonna let this dry for the moment and then get it cut hopefully before the sprint ends. That's not a, a that, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. That clip you saw there was me being in a little bit of a panic because I set this file up and pretty much put two files together, okay? And I didn't save it because I was like, oh, I'm only doing this for this order so I can close it. Well, I hadn't sent the thing to cut yet. So I had to relay it out and I was like, this could line up perfectly or it could line up terribly, but there's not a lot of wiggle room Thankfully, the stickers themselves, like on the sticker sheet, were back from Sprint, lined up. Cause girl, I finally need some good luck. Thank you. Okay, so it is now about a quarter to 11. We're just finishing up our last Sprint of the night. I can tell me having to host and also like do things that need focus not a good idea because like I guess at the first sticker she I closed the thing before I cut it thankfully got that lined up and then when I made uh, this one actually this is a different one when I printed stuff out for Q um, I didn't set the correct setting for the cut so it cut out like a sticker sheet instead of die cut so it didn't cut through the paper and I already messaged her and was like, hey, it's coming this way because it still works as stickers and everything. But then as I was finishing the order, realized I had missed one of the like team stickers. And granted, it wasn't like a huge, like I had other samples of it in there for her that were from my like hand cut whatnot bonus stuff. Because I'm like, she, we're co-hosts. We're partners in crime and all that. She can get a bunch of stuff and have fun with it. But I was like, I gotta fix it. So I printed out a new sheet with all of the things on there correctly. Some more Cerberus and it did die cut this time. So let's tear these off, get the order finished up for her so I can send that tomorrow. And gosh, it's the weekend. I feel like I have not done anything this week. And I know it's my, I just feel like I did not have any discipline this week. So it's on me. Tomorrow's a full day. Sunday's probably, probably the Sunday and Monday are gonna be full days. But I am going to make a plan. So we're gonna see a little bit of that because I think this, this right now, the vlog is not that long. So we're gonna drop a little bit into next week as well. But let's, um, let's just get these stickers done and we'll take the next step as it comes. And trust me guys, I know my lighting has been terrible, but I have one light in this room and my ring light and they do not suffice. 
So I just gotta pop these out. We got a couple little letters in there and some of the stickers, but these are all coming out really nicely. So we've got some Team Fafo and uh, some more Cerberus. More Cerberus, so I can actually have these in a sticker set or just like bonus stickers. Um, I have not quite organized that area of my, it's not it, like it is stock, but it's also not stock. So uh, it's important, but also like, it's good to have like little freebies to throw in when people order stuff. Yay, let me get all these letters out because the sprint is about to end in 15 seconds. Ah, oh, the D. Ah, oh, leave it. <laughs> Five seconds. Oh no, here comes the mambo. Can we make it? Yes. Haha, <laughs> no. Oh, I spoke too soon. Duh. There it goes. Empty. Woo. All right, guys. It is Sunday. And typically I'm trying not to do studio stuff on the weekends. Doesn't always happen that way. That's fine. Especially because I know I took a couple more lazy days during the week this week. So I'm going to spend a couple hours up here, try to edit the vlog, um, get the thumbnail done. I got to do the thumbnail. I got another order. There's some better lighting. Book two and three of With a Cherry on Top. So they must have bought book one last weekend, which I'm like, oh my God, it's working. They actually came to get more. Very excited about that. Also knocking everything over right now. And then I have to restock. So I do need to order some copies of with a cherry on top as well as um probably a handful of hardcovers for grave of brothers so so yeah that's on the agenda all right so i have two orders to pack up tonight excuse the dog here tundra is always with us um first one like i said is book two and three of with a cherry on top so i need to restock on these and then i'm sending out another hardcover of Grave of Brothers and I also have to restock on this. I have like three left but um they're technically claimed so I have technically zero. So we're gonna restock on both of these after I get these packed and I printed out my new thank you cards with Pip and Rags so everybody will get a thank you card. Since actually I'm dropping this off at their parents house because they're their friend from oof for from whenever ago. I'm gonna put this note on there with their name and drop it off for them. Um, saving a little bit on postage. Of course I'm like driving out so I'm using gas money and it kind of goes in that direction. But um, it's kind of nice and I think having that special delivery sign is really cute. So that'll be on the other side of these. And yeah, that is all the goodies. So let's get these packed up.
have you? Do you not like the horsey? You done? I like the horsey and like all the little tombstone like like if we were ever Good morning. Back in the studio working on video edits. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on editing some more vlog. And then I think really the only thing I should be doing is Kuro Kenshin after that because all of my orders to date have been fulfilled. So we're good. We're good. I love that. It feels good to not have responsibilities for other people. I do still have to work on some short story covers over the course of the rest of the year, which is fine. I can do like one a week-ish maybe. Kind of doing the day-to-day. -day. Right now we don't have any huge major new projects to look forward to so we're just gonna we're just gonna get the grind down It is 1.30 right now. I've been up here for maybe a little over an hour. And I've got all this down here edited up to this point, I think. Yeah. So this is where I'm at, which is about 17 minutes. And the rest of the uncut goes to about 34. So I just got to get through that half. Literally, I'm like halfway through. Um, but this should get shorter once I trim it up. And then do my little intro y, do the outro, and then this will be good to upload. And just taking a little break to update my Kofi. So I have a, I'll go back to the beginning so you guys can see. Um, if you go to like the main page, then you can click on gallery. So I have all these up here right now. And um, I am not the best at updating. Like there's Kuro Kenshin Rebirth and Kuro Kenshin, which I feel like I could just put into one. So me, whoopsie, that's not what we want to do. I'm just clicking things. But this actually has the comic in here. So that's why you can just read it like that. So I might do this for, um, uh, like with a cherry on top as well, just so I have it somewhere online that people can jump in and read it. It is a pain to upload each page one at a time because it doesn't have like that capability. But these were all the cleaned updated pages. So it's up here as a little preview. And I don't like that I have to like, I think if I click on this, can I scroll? No, I can't, okay. <sighs> Maybe I should just upload it onto Webtoons. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, and the Creative Commons and more is where I'm going to add in all the short story covers I've done so far so I can link those to Stephanie's page and then you guys can check those out. Um, you can get them as an ebook, I believe, or as a paper copy. And then I, I haven't updated some of these images. Like these are from last year, end of last year. So I want to throw in a couple more updated images. I still love my walrus. Well, he got this. It's just, it's great. The carpenter and the walrus. Fantastic picture. I love it. And he's reading a book. He can become another book lover sticker. <laughs> Yay. Um, and I forgot like how much fun I had doing these, like, like this one here was, I drew this fairy in 2004. I redrew it last year. And this is how my drawing style is now. So like, just kind of seeing and doing that was super fun. And I want to do more of those. Um, this one is a little bit more recent. This one is another one that was like 2003 to 2022 and just the, the upgrade, <laughs> the, 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 oh my goodness. Like, what is this face? What is this? <laughs> but everybody has to start somewhere. Uh, so glad to say I, and making some progress. Or this one was really fun to do different um, lady portraits. And I think this one color-wise turned out really well. Got my yo-yo boys. 
and Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was, I need to do more of these. So I'm gonna update this gallery to have the covers in there, and then you guys can go check out and see what else I got. It's rendering. I actually edited the whole thing. Came out to just a little over like 22 minutes, which is a nice, not too long, not too short. Got a little mix in there of what I was doing. And that's only week one, part two. <laughs> like granted, day one was a, an ordeal. Um, and I mostly forgot what happened week two. What is, is this week four? Am I that far behind? I think, mm, sad. Uh, it's happening. It's going up and it's sure is a little off my current time, but like it, it's going to have to be, it's going to get edited. So that is what that is. And when that's done, take a little break and come back tonight, work on some curl Kenshin. You guys can see where I'm at with that. I just want to finish it because I want to work on the new stuff. Oh, I really want to continue with the cherry on top. And I also eventually want to get to my webcomic and, you know, write more books. It's only 10 projects on deck. Only. Boy, take care. I try you. Huh? Hey guys, back on Thursday, finally working on Kuro Kenshin. I did not do anything last night. We ended up just hanging out, which is fine. I just feel like I could have been more productive this week, but I need to, I need to accept breaks and like take a step away sometimes and then come back so let me show you the pages I've only done a couple because it's like taking me a minute to get into but I'll show you what I got so I was just about to start on this page here I'm sorry that you're getting the wonky wonkiness I guess I could just screen grab but I can maybe just hold you super still pretty much this is the line art the original line art it's rescanned in so you can see it's not the greatest quality because when I scanned it, it wasn't totally, I didn't scan it on the right setting, but I already went through and like cleaned everything up. So I really don't want to go back and scan everything again. This is where I'm starting to run into the issues that I'm, that I know I've been putting off and that's why I haven't worked on anything. You can see there's the line art I'm working with. Now this page, it's the double page spread for the chapter, even though this, this background is like, super simple like nothing to write home about it's better than the original which i'll pull up here for you in just a second so this is the original over here 
Obviously there is some more texture. We got some depth going on with the train, but mm -hmm. why did I draw the train like that? Like use a ruler. So I didn't, I just totally erased that train from the original. I kept them obviously, and I've adapted the tones, though I do, I might go back to this for Kentaro, but I liked having the black stripes on the shirt. And I think that might've been more out of wanting to make everything kind of crisper and darker. I'll switch it around and give him a lighter shirt and see if I like this again. I mean, they both look fine. He's only gonna wear it for like two chapters, so it's fine guys. But I just wanted to give it a crisp clean look since my whole goal is not to like redo it and make it a thousand times better. It's mostly to clean up, fix a couple things in the story, make the print quality itself look better. There's a certain charm to this old one, but no. No, we're gonna stick with this one, even though it's a bit more uh, simple in the background. Right, so I switched the qualities of his shirt and his pants around here. I do like that better, so we're just gonna go with that, but I'm keeping the black stripes instead of the white. Yeah. I just gotta stop overthinking it because I really need to get through these pages, but lordy, lordy. Like there's so much charm in the original that I want to preserve and that's why I'm not redoing the line art. But it's also like, I don't have hours upon hours. I also don't have like access to a lot of these tones and stuff. So simple is best. We're just gonna go simple. We're gonna, we're gonna save it in our brain and Whew. Keep moving forward. Alrighty, so you guys just saw I was working on this page here in Krita just a moment ago, and I did that to clean up the line art a bit. So if I turn off the layer, like this black layer here, um, those lines that were patchy, like you can see this window one is still a bit patchy, but it's not as bad. I know, I know, I should just screen grab, but bear with me. Um, I cleaned up and finished the lines on there just to make my job easier going in for the toning and just kept going with it. So it did clean up a bit. And this is versus the old version. I think I've mentioned plenty of times before the original was reading like the Japanese way. Whatever's the opposite of the English way, right to left, left to right, right to left, right. Right to left is the Japanese way. Sure, sure, it was reading that way. Um, and then now with reprinting through KDP and Amazon, um, if it's written in English, they won't let you flip everything over. So that was just another reason for me to flip everything over going that way. Overall, I feel like it is just a bit more crisp. It is still holding on to the, oh goodness, I see all those lines on there. It's holding on to the, um, <laughs> if this footage was really bad, I probably just gave you the screenshot at this point, but um, it's holding on to that same character, the same style, maintaining what I originally drew so you guys can kind of see the evolution of all of that. Um, but we are cleaning it up, making it a little bit more crisp, a little bit more modern for the printing. And we just got to keep going. This is only page 71 of the first volume. And we did do some editing there, but I'll get into that later. This is the important part. <laughs> 